Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, may I extend a warm welcome to all participants on behalf of CII. The webinar initiative of CII is very well appreciated by our members and we have organized over 110 online sessions since it, its launch in 2009. Over 4,500 members have participated and the feedback from our membership is quite encouraging. Today's webinar will be deliberated on the Kaizen. May I request all the participants to make a note that this webinar would be a one-way communication from CI Gurgaon. The live interactive session would begin after the presentation by Mr. Gaurav Mahapats. Participants are requested to type their questions in the question box which would be opened during QA session and Mr. Watts would take it up live one by one in the end and would answer all the questions raised. May I on behalf of the participants would extend a warm welcome to Mr. Gaurav Watts and invite him to take over the session. Over to Mr. Watts. Good afternoon friends. May I request first please confirm whether the audio is okay? Just by type in chat session. Good afternoon friends, I am Gaurav Bats, Counselor Manufacturing Excellence from CII Avanta Center for Competitiveness for SMEs. Today we will have a one hour webinar session on Kaizen and half an hour for question and answer. Agenda for this session is as follows. First, we will learn what Kaizen is and why it is made of time. Then we will try to learn how to generate Kaizen ideas. Then we will see what are the scope area in manufacturing industry where we can utilize Kaizen tool. Before scope area, I will slightly brief about Trium. After that, we will learn how to build Kaizen culture in an organization. What are the do's and don'ts for Kaizen culture build up? Manufacturing sector related example I will share but that I will include along with a scope, scope area subject and few Kaizen examples related to our daily life I will share at the end. Then we will have a half an hour session for question and answers. Let's learn few things about Kaizen. Kaizen is a tool for improvement and it helps to improve our processes and operations. It has got wide scope of application. In fact, Kaizen is not limited to work area improvement. It has application in our daily life also. I would share few daily life Kaizen example at the end of this session. It is a strong tool for improvement and it itself 
support the cause of doing it and also reflect the involvement and morale of the individual participants. In other words, we can say that Kaizen or continuous improvement is defined as the small gradual incremental change applied over a long period that added up to a major impact on business result. Or we can say that Kaizen is a culture of sustained continuous improvement focusing on eliminating waste in all system and business processes of an organization. The main thing one must know how smallest ideas can lead to greater result. Kaizen leads to high productivity, quality and good environment condition, low cost and on time delivery in a product service. Let's see its literal meaning of Kaizen. It's a Japanese word made of two words, Kai and Jen. Kai means change and Jen means for good. Thus Kaizen means change for good. Kaizen is based on fundamentals of scientific analysis in which one analyzes the elements of a process or system to understand how it works. Then discover how to influence or improve it for the better result. Kaizen is a building block of all the lean production methodology. Now let's see why it is needed. Today in this global business scenario, a company has to compete not only with all local manufacturers but also large multinational manufacturers. To be successful, that company has to be world class means it has to satisfy the needs of customer in quality, performance, delivery and it should be at lowest cost. Now we can say that we need to reduce cost of product by improving productivity. We have to improve quality thus reducing cost of rework and scrap. We need to improve yield of raw material use and we need to improve delivery of product and thus reduce lead, lead time. Reduction of lead time allow us to have fewer inventories and so we have to borrow less from bank thus we have to pay less money as interest. We need to improve morale of the employees which has major impact on absenteeism and so on the productivity. Now we need to reduce chances of accident. So there will be a less loss of manners. But how it can be done? It can be done using latest technology or buying a new technology or another way is using existing technology, process or system in the best possible ways. Buying a new technology is a costly affair now. It requires investment. Then second option is a use existing technology process and system in the best way is a more useful. Now how a company can use existing technology process or system in the best possible way? It can be done by implementing ideas of persons who are using the system most and who they are they are the operators. Now operators are not highly technical people in current Indian manufacturing industry. Especially in SMEs, they are having very low education level. So what type of ideas they will give? They will give small improvement related ideas in their work area. If they start giving ideas in SPQCD MS parameter and everybody start giving solution on those SPQCD M parameter then there will be a major change. 
I would like to say SPQCDMS. M stand S stand for safety, P for productivity, Q quality, C cost, D delivery, M management. Then there will be a major change visible in the organization and that will have major positive impact on business. Toyota is an example of this movement. Therefore, Kaizen is need of time for Indian manufacturing industry. Now let's see how to generate Kaizen's. First step is study the current process and operation at micro level. Operator of that process and operation can be of great help in study because he brings the practical aspect into the study. After the studying that micro level, we should identify the waste in the system. And what is the waste? Waste means operations and activities that adds cost or time but does not add value to the product. I will give details on 3M and waste while I will discuss 3M later in this session. So now go to the next process. Next is to generate ideas. Always generate ideas reverse to the waste. For example, if coolant leakage is then Kaizen idea should focus on elimination of coolant leakage. Generally manufacturing industry apply ECDRS technique for this where E stands for eliminate, C stands for combine, R stands for reduction and S stands for simplify. Try to think ideas for elimination of non-value added activity. If elimination of waste is not possible, think ideas for combining the wasteful activities. If combination of waste is also not possible, think reduction of the waste. And if that is also not possible, try to think Kaizen ideas to simplify the wasteful operation. Always remember, 10% suggestions or ideas are always better than 1% idea. Once idea has been generated, try to evaluate ideas and implement ideas which are easy to implement and require least or zero investment. Once you do Kaizen, you should keep in mind that it's break even. Whatever investment you are doing, it's break even should be recovered within a year. Once idea is implemented in one area, then and success has been established, it should be deployed in other area wherever it has scope for implementation. The last step is document the Kaizen activity for reference and training. It can be used for training new operators. Learning from the past Kaizen can be deployed in future model and products. Thus, it also helps in developing the new model fast. I will share now few questions. Which, is, which can be used to generate Kaizen ideas. For example, can I reduce the strain in the operation? Suppose there is a strain in the operation and we are not able to see it. So this type of question is asked with the operators and they are able to answer it. Can this improvement be applied elsewhere? Is there an alternative way to do it? Whatever I am doing at the current way, 
is there an alternate way to do it or a better way to do it can this be reduced or can this be increased how can i identify the defect at source what are the non value added operations can this be done in a faster cheaper or easier way can i reduce the variation that is called mura now before going to next topic that is scope area point or diagram i brief about theorem theorem is a jap 3m is a japanese word which stands for muri mura and muda muri means strain mura means inconsistency and imbalance and muda means waste there are seven types of waste in a business process and operation these are muda of power production muda of stock muda of transport muda of waiting muda of operation muda of movement muda of inferior quality muda means inconsistency or imbalance as i have here said it can be due to variation in the capacity of machines variation in the quantity muda generates muda of waiting muda of stock and muda of transport etc muri means strain it can be on man machine and infrastructure generally people in industry works only on muri on man muri on machine and infrastructure is neglected while we must also look in this category also muri leads to generation of fatigue and so it reduces the productivity of man efficiency of machine or life of building or infrastructure we can say muri is one of the reasons for high absenteeism in indian assemblies now let's see what the scope areas for kaizen activity in a business process guidance we use to eliminate muda related to manpower machine and equipments means quality control and materials it should be used for improvement in safety inside premises where business processes are performed now i'll share few examples related to each category so these are the area where you can find muda related to manpower and you can do kaizen to eliminate these muda and muri and mura for example we can find kaizen scope in monitoring of machine man power is wasted in monitoring of machine cnc machine is performing machining operation and operator is waiting operator is just monitoring the machine while not adding any value so here we are wasted of man power and next is walking and moving if layout is not made properly excess walking and excess excess moving create muda of transport muda of movement and in the base muri next is conveyance of material we can say it is a muda of transport 
in SMEs, many places material movement is done manually, where two or three persons are taking material by hand and it's transferred, which can be done by one man itself. So here also lots of manpower is wasted in material movement and we can say material transfer. transfer. Searching for items. This is very prevalent in Indian SMEs where we search for tools at the right time because we don't keep tools in a proper way. Next is the Buddha in excess handling of products and Muda of excess motion. This type of Muda exists in river and if process is not balanced, strain is more, station is not designed proper. Next is river. River requires extra man hour. So thus extra manpower is required. If there is no river, manpower is not required. So whatever we are paying for river, that is the waste. It is adding the cost of the product. So we can see Kaizen scope in this activity. We can do Kaizen activity to eliminate cause of river. Next is idling of manpower. Manpower can be idled due to unavailability of material, defect, breakdown, etc. So we can think of Kaizen to eliminate cause of idling. For example, elimination of breakdown, elimination of manpower shortage, elimination of material shortage etc. So now I will share few examples related to manpower. Here in picture you can see before case CNC machine is there where two operators are working. Operator is idle when machine is running. In CNC their job is to load, unload and do setup. So nearly 50 to 60 percent time is idle. So we have to think reverse of the Kaizen. Use ECR technique. Eliminate idle time or reduce idle time. So what we, we are seeing in after picture. With both machines face has been put in one side. And operator is running two machines simultaneously. Thus, company say one man power. And thus the cost saving occurs. Another example is for long objects. As you see, two people are required to do the drilling. Where one person is doing drilling, and another is holding the job. We can think of idea of eliminating excess manpower. So what Kaizen has been done? A roller stand has been provided. Part can be rest on that and one man who is doing drilling can perform his job. These are the very simple small in improvement. We must remember that Kaizen is an improvement in, in the status quo in ongoing effort. Let's see another example. Scrap disposal is done by two manpower. Small Kaizen is done. Solution given by operator. Use the hand trolley which we are we are having. So one manpower itself is sufficient to move the scrap. 
So here muda of manpower eliminated, muri is eliminated, and the person who is moving is there. His time also saved. This this is another example. In before picture we see work piece is on one table and other parts are uh, quite away. Parts are laid out horizontally, making them hard to see and reach. So there is an improvement done. A small improvement then by the operator. Part trolley stand has been inclined and length has been increased. So parts were within reach. It's easy to see, and thus muri is eliminated. Muda of motion is eliminated. So these are the small kinds related to muda elimination of muda of manpower. Another example. These are very really common examples in industry, and if you see the kaizen, these all are common sense. Plastic sheets sheets were kept on the rack behind the operators. Operator has to turn every time when he need a plastic sheet, and turning motion required four or five second extra effort also. Now a small improvement is done. Plastic sheet has been hung in front of the operator. Operator does not have to turn around. His efficiency has increased, and he will be happy because there will be no muda. Now, if you see muda related to machine equipment, it can be due to space and transportation equipment, efficiency of machine. You can find kaizen to avoid leakage of oil, coolant, lubricants. you can generate ideas to eliminate minor stoppages you can generate ideas to eliminate daily cleaning provide protective covers you can eliminate you can generate kaizen to eliminate combine reduce or simplify leakage of air and energy can be avoided lights on this is a very uh, common when when we go home and we come out of home, house or room we switch off lights but in industry in office when we come out we don't switch off lights one reason is either switch is not accessible or we don't know switch so this is also a scope for kaizen where we can provide switches on table string type of switches so that not whole light will on person it's not on work table or not on his work place he can switch off the lights this is one example break down was high on a rolling machine due to the wrong loading method it was a skill dependent operation and if loading was not done properly it was breaking and thus machine has to stop to repair small improvement has been provided done a support is provided which will ensure proper loading and thus break down reduces small kaizen increases the availability of machine thus increases the production rate and machine efficiency Now um, another scope area is 
मुडा रिलेटेड टू मीन्स इट कैन बी ड्यू टू बॉटल लिंक प्रोसेस इफ मैथड्स आर नॉट प्रॉपर्टी डिजाइन इन्वेंट्री विल जनरेट इन बिटवीन द प्रोसेस विच कॉल इट डब्ल्यू आई पी मैन मे बी आइडल और मशीन मे बी आइडल सेटअप ऑफ मशीन कैन टेक टाइम एडजस्टमेंट कैन टेक टाइम एंड एक्स्ट्रा रैपिंग एंड अनरैपिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड सो दीज आर दरिया वी कैन सी इन मैथड वेयर वी कैन फाइंड आइडियाज फॉर काइजन these are one very simple example if you have to weigh some weight what you will do you will take that material near the weighing machine lift the weight put on weighing machine and measure the weight if it is heavy you may need extra man power and you will have buri so some operator has suggested Please dig a pit. Put the weighing machine down. So you don't need extra manpower to lift the object. And as you see in the picture, you can slide the object and weigh the object. Another example, as I said, searching time waste. If you see in before picture, to find a tool, it may require thirty second or maybe thirty minute. But in the right side, when shadow board has been created, you can find the object within ten seconds. And if object is missing, by seeing the picture, we can you can know. what object is missing another kaizen to eliminate muda in method in first picture operator was arranging tool for next setup and he had stopped the machine so operator has a scope for kaizen to avoid machine stopping he has prepared the tool arrangement while machine is running so this type of kaizen ideas can be generated where there is no investment required thus required the common sense and the proper planning one more example in a threading operation long handle was there it was not clear how much to be thread so when inserting the pin thread was getting damaged operator has suggested some idea to avoid the thread damage he has provided the positioning check on the fixture very small investment but very effective This is this is another example. We all use car. When we have to check gear box, gear box oil or engine oil, oil, what we do? We lose the check nut, take the dip stick out, clean it with clothes, again put it, again take it out, and say what is the level. So this activity require at least five to ten minutes if you have everything. We don't have. It may require more than twenty or thirty minutes. If you see the after picture, small improvement has been done. A tube has been attached. It has been marked green, yellow, and red. So by inspection only, one can just where the level is, and especially operate. For operator, this type of guidance are good where they have not to read value. They have to take just judgment. Red means it is danger zone. You have to feel it's critical. Yellow means it's a reorder point. Green means it is okay. Now, mood are related to quality control. Scope of guidance ideas are there in quality control too. 
you can do kaizen for reducing the river eliminating the defect doing the full proofing fixing the standards reducing the defect caused by conveyance the more you handle the product the more the chances are of getting generating defects such as dent scratch or type of appearance defect reducing the time for inspection that is also one scope of area for kaizen one example is there if you have to measure the diameter you are using micrometer it require 30 second per piece if scale inspector is there so somebody is suggested if we are producing 1000 2000 complaint why to use micrometer it's a time taking activity it is generating muri and productivity is very low so a gauge and jig has been designed where you can just keep the part and check whether it's okay or not okay a no go gauge so inspection time reduces i'm just sharing some examples the mood are related to material and parts so these are few examples mentioned clamping with bolts can be reduced number of parts can be reduced if you combine and to find out another way to create dy cooperation this is also a scope of kaizen heavy weight material and parts transport and yield use of expensive material you can find out alternatives and then reducing the scrap one example is there there is a product was truck washer to create first washer 686 mm bar was used first parting was done then drilling then cnc turning case hardening and the hard turning production rate was 20 per piece so ideas have been generated flat piece is used and different method is used punching normalize cnc turning case hardening hard turning so punching time has reduced and one piece can be made in 30 second thus productivity has increased quite one more example is there where you can see the material 50 mm bar is used to create a product different operation was there parting rough turning cnc short turning heat treatment heat hard turning cost was per piece 40 rupees so company had discussed with supplier and vendor who were supplying the part raw material now they have taken the raw material of different size and thus operation has reduced now because operation has reduced material weight has reduced so scrap is also come down and the piece price also have come down now another area is improvement in safety you can find scope area for kaizen where there is a danger at rotating rotating parts you can create protection danger of being caught in moving machine provide some type of protection so you should not get caught danger of being cut danger of fall if you are working at top you should have really danger of falling objects danger of collision there should be a stopper and sensor so there should be no collision 
danger related to handling hard object handling you should have provision to handle it danger of electric shock you should have rubber sheet near electrical panels danger of accident by toxic substance danger of explosion danger of high temperature danger related to work done by inexperienced person these are the area where you can find ideas for kaizen for example i share one kaizen example when do you are doing grinding is part is spreading to a far distance it is unsafe so what we have done we have provided a production to control spark so very simple but very effective now next is how to bring kaizen culture many companies struggle in this kaizen activity activity started but it does not sustain the utmost reason is low involvement of soft floor people and second most is kaizen activities is done by supervisors and engineers what this supervisor engineers do they do kaizen activity in design changes manpower reduction material yield improvement etc so do they create a do kaizen in their work area which most of the time does not provide direct benefits to operator in performing work thus kaizen activities gradually disappear in a year or so let's see how we can bring sustain kaizen culture in an organization there are three step we should do to bring kaizen culture first step is encouragement next step is training and education third step is quality of kaizen so first step is encouragement we should know how to encourage employees to in involve in kaizen activities few ideas are mentioned below you can read it promote kaizen activity among all associate do campaign among all associate to do kaizen activity please be involved in kaizen use posters newsletters notices to promote kaizen activities have some suggestion scheme encourage employees to begin participation in kaizen activities give awareness training to all what is kaizen what could be the benefit for the operator as well as for the organization in initial stage whatever benefit is coming through kaizen it should be distributed to promote the very purpose of kaizen activity in initial stage you should overlook of the kaizen to encourage participation first you should not focus on high quality of kaizen kaizen can be a very small suggestion next step is training and education once employee involvement has reached to a satisfactory level generally it may take 3 to 4 month or 2 to 3 years so after involvement has reached to a satisfactory level you are satisfied with the involvement of the operators and employees give focus training to employees to understand what is kaizen and what is not kaizen 
train team leaders for understanding of kaizen in organization vision and mission context now you have to do kaizen which is related to your organization mission or mission vision or mission it could be related to the theme of the year and you have to follow thoroughly in order to achieve desired business objective teach team leaders about necessity of impartial evaluation form a strategy for improving participation so team leaders should evaluate kaizen very impartially if you do partiality employ the risk of giving kaizen in future next step is quality of kaizen if basic understanding of kaizen has been spread in the whole organization with optimum level that you come to know that this understanding has been developed in this industry and participation is increasing give emphasis on quality of kaizen now do thorough study in quality of change standardization of change long term implication widespread application alignment with the organization objectives and long term planning objective objectives etc before the kaizen implementation so you have to do thorough analysis before you are implementing kaizen and to promote further you can form a independent department a independent team to carry out kaizen evaluation and implementation now as i said you should know what is kaizen what is not kaizen so these are the few examples suggestion idea under implementation it is not kaizen remember kaizen means implemented suggestion if suggestion is not implemented it is not kaizen idea and suggestion copied from the previous kaizen is not a kaizen if somebody is giving ideas about relaxing company policy regulation etc etc it is also not a kaizen correction of own mistake is also not a kaizen if coolant is leaking due to the repair mistake correction of that is not a kaizen ideas of obvious or regular maintenance activity is not a kaizen activity which you are doing a regular basis like fibers where you do red tagging where you do in shadow board is not a kaizen you have created shadow board you are not using again you start using so this is not a kaizen changes in recommended procedure process by the equipment manufacturer where you are violating agreement norms this is also not a kaizen you should take manufacturers in confidence ideas related to bargaining argument supply selection price negotiation also not kaizen Ch and changes which may involve legal interpretation is also not kaizen and the last any negative idea for company is not a kaizen don't consider it as a kaizen now what not to do as i said i will put some light on what to do and what not to do so first is what not to do 
leaders and managers must avoid these mental blocks. Once somebody is going with some idea to you and you don't say, we are too busy to study now, we will talk later and you keep on pending the activity. You don't say it's a good idea but timing seems not right. These are very common things used by leaders and managers. So these things should be avoided. It is not, I am just reading it. It is not in this year budget, we don't have money. Theory is different from practice, I have learned this way. This is a very common thing. Is there something else we can do? Operator has gone to do, gone to suggest something and you are saying him that you are mad. Our system is fine. I have another is I have tried earlier. I, I it will surely fail and waste time. So don't do it. It could be possible that that time you tried, you have not tried all the options. Now once somebody has suggested, let him try. You are saying teaching me, I'm your boss. You must remember that in your organization, employees are not coming with two hands, two legs. They are coming with one brain. So you should apply that brain. Generally it is called eighth waste. I have told earlier there are seven waste. They have one more waste, that is the waste of brain. If you are not applying your operator's mind. Do your job, let's be implemented by Mr. X. I am suggesting you are letting some other, some other to implement it. Don't say it's not our business, let someone think and plan about it. We are not affected so much from this. We have given a suggestion which in another, another person's area, so you are not supporting the operator. It's not a kaizen, it's a common sense, anybody can do it. The very important thing is, common sense is very uncommon. I know the result, even if we don't do it. So why you have not done it? So this thing should not be done. I will not be held accountable. It's your idea and it's your baby. It's, it's success, it's your success. If it's fail, your failure. I will not take the responsibility for this implementation. Can you think of better idea? Don't tell to anybody. X, Y, Z department will feel heat. Then we will suggest to charts our number higher than them. You got a cousin? Somebody, some department is in problem. You got an idea? But you are not telling. You are just waiting to problem become more severe. The last is don't worry, be merry and don't bother you. So leaders and managers should avoid these types of pitfalls. Now let's come, what to do? You should question conventional fixed ideas with the first one. Start questioning the current practices and standard. Why it is done so? Why it is can, it cannot be done another way? Seek advice of many associates before startup. Once you are starting to implement Kaizen, have advice of others. Always remember 10 persons ideas and suggestions are better than one person idea. Think of how to do it, not why it cannot be done. When you are suggesting something, you might start thinking why it cannot be done. So it should not be done. If you have thought about some, if you have think of some idea, try to think how to do it. Don't make excuses, make, make execution happen. You have not to seek perfection in the first go. If you got an idea, you are thinking, no, no, more I have to think. Don't do that. If you have got some small idea, please implement it. Even when target is 50%. If you make a mistake, correct it that time. Last but not the least is, in Kaizen, don't focus on spending money. Focus on your wisdom. In many organizations, when Kaizen activity started, employees had given solution for racks, for trolleys, for tools, for, for etc. etc. 
don't do that tell them clearly use your mind to utilize current resources as i said in the beginning i will share some good example in daily life also how kaizen can be useful in our life mosquito oil is burn for 6 hour average if you spray water on this and use it it burns for 9 hours so it reduces your mosquito oil consumption and thus the cost it's very simple and common sense if you spray water on anything it will fume more left side you see most of the homes when you brought fruits you wash it, you wash it in a pot, you fill the water, the water spills all around, you take the fruits out, especially grapes, then you wash the spillage, you throw the water. You can use such type of equipment tool which is which requires less water and it's very effective. Another example is stand for mobile chargers chargers when we do charge our mobiles wire is always long sometimes it get entangled and get damaged sometimes when you move mobile fall on floor so we can use small tizen it's very simple and that is everybody use mobile cover to take keep cell phone protected but when somebody rings you start juggling with the phone how to take it out Small strip is added with a very simple Kaizen. When you pull it, cell will come out. So, weight generation is used in dissipating such type of Kaizens. So, these are the daily example, Kaizen example in daily life. Uh, now, with this, I will end my session. Now, you can put your questions. First, first question is
Yes, Mr. Vishwasana had asked which hand we need to reduce pulse. So first you have to do micro study of the process and you have to identify which M is present in your process and then you have to take action to eliminate that M. It could be Muri, it could be Mura, it could be one of the seven M. It could be Muda of overproduction, Muda of inventory, Muda of inferior quality, etc. Yes, ECRS techniques, technique is asked by Mr. Bala Murli S. So ECRS stands for E for elimination, C for combine, R for reduce, S for simplify. So if you, you are eliminating 3M, you use this ECRS technique. First you have to identify the waste, try to eliminate it. It could be possible you are not able to eliminate it 100%. Then you try to combine it with other activity so that its effects get reduced and neglected. If it is not possible, try to reduce the effect of the waste. You have to add the value added operation and you have to remove, reduce the non value added operations and activity. S is simplified. If you are not able to reduce, uh, eliminate or combine the wasteful activity, try to simplify them. For example, muda or transportation. If it, it is a waste, it is a non value added activity, it is an activity which is adding cost or time. When you are using two manpower, you can make it simplify, then create a tool so that you can do it very easily. Yes, we can apply Kaizen principle in service industry also. Uh, this question has been asked by Mr. Shiv. In service industry, we do different types of office operations. A signing of check, signing of invoices, generating of invoices. So we can find out what the waste are there in the system. Paper are waiting for approval. There are lots of approval hierarchy for the paper which is not required. So these are the waste and you can think of how to eliminate this. Yes, the question is asked, what is the difference between Kaizen and Innovation by Mr. Vipin? Yes, Kaizen is improvement of status quo with ongoing effort. Person who is doing the operation, he found out, he finds what are the other way is to and small improvement he can do to improve it. Innovation is a changing of the current situation drastically. So Kaizen is done in small steps, innovation is done in one step drastically and it is not done in the current person who is running the operation. There are different team it all. Yes, a question is asked, what is the benchmark for number of Kaizen generated per person in world class company? If I take example of Toyota, it is a 4 Kaizen per employee per month.
so how do we evaluate the kaizen ideas so as i told earlier you should implement the kaizen which are easy to implement first to get the benefit fast once you get the taste of low hanging fruits a culture will build up and other person will start giving the kaizen evaluation criteria you can fix which area you want when you have got the encouragement your all employees are participating you can fix the theme this month we will take suggestion on quality next month we will take suggestion on productivity like this and i have already told what is not kaizen so you can use that parameter to evaluate, evaluate kaizen ideas so one more question was how soon should an organization adopt kaizen practices by mr b srinivasan to develop a culture it should take 2 to 4 year it's ongoing effort over a long period of time so one more question is asked what are the tools to identify non value added activities by mr rajiv first thing is go to the place it's called gemba gemba is japanese word meaning means workplace go to the place do study the process identify which process is adding value and which is not adding value for example if you have to have a part which has a hole at a particular location so your job is to create a hole on the object at the fixed location to get the hole you may do marking you may do loading unloading etc so there those are non value added what you can do you can create a fixture so that once you load it the drill will go at that location so best tool is create a video study the video and questions i have already uh, mentioned how to identify what is mean by means 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 methods this question is asked by mr upper level yeah question is asked how to find a difference between kaizen and solution by mr antonio masker so as i earlier said implemented solution is kaizen question is asked while focusing on increasing participation of employee do you recommend monetary reward and recognition to the employees yes but you should be careful if you are giving gifts or money cash to the operator you should give in such a way that he should not misuse it if you have given a watch or 10000 rupees to operator the very next day when he will go out of the gate he will sell it maybe to the your supervisors so you give first initial stage small monetary monetary gifts like tiffin box pencils pen which is useful to him also as well as it can be used at their home is there a checklist suggestion suggested by asked by mr sri ram 
अश्वत्थ नारायण यस यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन चेकलिस्ट दिस इज नॉट ए वेरी फिक्स चेकलिस्ट बट फॉर थ्री एम यू कैन क्रिएट चेकलिस्ट गो टू द प्रोसेस एंड सी वॉट आर द एक्टिविटीज आर देयर एंड वॉट आर द वेस्ट आर अवेलेबल any forum to see or share best kaizen to generate ideas or copy to get benefit by mr dsp rock yes our center for our ci on the center for competitiveness do a the kaizen cluster summit every year you can participate in and you can see the kaizens best kaizens what are all the analysis tools in kaizen by ms jyoti ganeshan this could be anything 5y 5y 5w1h to get the root cause all seven kc tool problem solving tools you can use polity analysis you can use ishikawa diagram So it can automatic automating a process be a kaizen activity by Mr. Ganesh. Yes, if the investment is least and break even can be recovered within a year, within a one financial year, it it can be called a kaizen. How we measure the benefits of implemented kaizen by Mr. Sri Ram? You can. Measure the benefit of kaizen in the PQCD MS parameter, where P stands for productivity, Q for quality, C for cost, D for delivery, M for management, and more. S for safety. any idea to illustrate and agent people participation in kaizen activity by mr rajiv banki yes smes sme industry where people's intellectual level are very low they do provide suggestions and do the kaizen activities and what i i have shared in a daily life examples that is also an example to it Which one is of the first priority in PQCD SM? S is the first priority, that is safety. Q is the second priority, quality. Then depend upon the uh, company priority, P, Q, P, C, and D. and how to develop a kaizen culture in new organization by mr ragvendra so this i have i have already explained there are three steps first encourage participation then focus on training and education for the focus kaizen and then next go for the quality of, of kaizen do a detailed analysis before implementing the kaizen so this is the way and uh, to develop a kaizen culture you must involve operators their solution should be implemented basically for implementing kaizen you don't need speed you need momentum momentum comes when the mass is attached with the speed
what are the criteria to evaluate the particular kaizen to reward and recognition by mr raji so there are different criteria as i already said you can use the manufacturing uh, parameters pqcd ms you can use the costing how much benefit kaizen is giving in trading company uh, we are a trading company how many kaizen we should aim for 200 employee in our organization per month by is niketa pande uh, i would suggest you should have at least one kaizen first you should target one kaizen per employee per month so you should have at least 200 suggestion per employee per month and try to implement those suggestions after evaluating what is the meaning of 3m it, by mr pramod sharma i already said it's a, it's, it's a japanese word muda muri and mura muda stand for waste muri is a strain and mura is the imbalance is it appropriate to fix target on kaizen to employ initial state you need to fix so that employee get involved but later on there is no target a can a one employee can do two kaizen one employee can do nine kaizen can we have the kaizen of safety improvements by mr ajay yes one example i have share and you can do the kaizen to improve the safety you can provide the protection you can provide the guards you can provide the sensor to avoid collisions you can provide the protection cover at sharp sharp edges you can chamfer the sharp edges edges what is the difference between kaizen and focus kaizen by jyoti ganesha once you start encouraging the operators to do kaizen kaizen can be on different subjects it can be on quality it can be on cost it can be on muri elimination it can be on inventory etc and focus kaizen is means you have set the theme for the month this month we will consider safety suggestion on safety and kaizen on safety next month we will take suggestion on quality improvement etc so that is called focus kaizen what is the retention period of a kaizen sheet by mr rajiv it depend upon the organization how long you keep your product in few organization once they change the product they apply the kaizen learning to for the development of the new product <coughs> so if your our company is changing the product every one year you can keep the kaizen for a year if your company is changing every five year you can keep a kaizen for five year or if your company is not changing you can keep kaizen for 3 month and 1 month how much percentage sharing should be awarded to an employee who gains the kaizen and who implement the kaizen by niketa it depend upon the organization there is no specific rule but yes initially states once you are developing the culture you should give full tangible benefit and distribute among the employees you can held the event you can do the celebration for the benefits but let us say you can decide a percentage do you have any example for process industry yes uh, by artist radhi yes in process industry you can uh, do kaizen for keeping the tools for 
marking on JJ so that any literate person can also see whether it is in red zone, green zone. You can have different tools to have visual indication whether the motor is running, etc. We want to start start Kaizen Mela once in a month to collect all improvement points. Is that good? By Mr. Raghavind Kumar. Yes, you can start, but initial stage you have to develop the culture. If culture is not there, your Kaizen Mela solution and Kaizen will not come. Please cite example for building industry by Mr. Zunka. In building industry, you can do Kaizen to reduce your material, increase your efficiency, reduce your lead time, reduce your waste of paint, reduce the waste of bricks, etc. What is the system for horizontal deployment of Kaizen by Mr. Rajiv? Once you have done a Kaizen, you have to search what are the scope area in your factory. It could be in your shop as well as in a different shop. List out the improvement area where you can horizontally deploy, plan the activity and implement it. It may, uh, it may possible that a horizontal deployment is taking more than two or three months. But yes, you should plan the activity and monitor it. So how do we implement Kaizen in sales and admin works? Mr. Donald Pramka. Yes, you can implement Kaizen in sales and admin work where you can reduce your search time by doing Kaizen for keeping the files so that you should get a particular file in 10 seconds. You can keep your drawer, you can create a shadow board in your drawer so that once you open a drawer, you should pick the right item. You can use the concept of easy loading, easy unloading, one touch pickup, etc. You can reduce, you can do the Kaizen to reduce your paperwork. You can re reduce your, uh, do the Kaizen to reduce your lead time to get an approval. What is the difference between Kaizen and innovation? Please explain once again, Mr. Langwendu. Kaizen is done by the person who is working on the process and it is an ongoing effort in the current situation. It is a small and incremental, its ROI should come within a one financial year. Innovation is done can, can be done by the person or it can be done by an other person. It is a drastic change, it change, change the process drastically, it's required investment, its ROI may not come in a year. So these are few uh, difference between Kaizen and innovation. How to reduce Mura by Mr. Pramod Sharma? Once you eliminate Mura and you are creating flow, your Mura will automatically eliminate. So you have to do flow analysis. You can use value stream mapping, except the tools are there. You can do line balancing.
So thank you. So with this, I will end this session. Thank you very much for that. I hope uh, we were able to uh, have some good discussion on Kaizen's today. And uh, we would like to add uh, that we need to inform you that the presentation recorded link of this session would be uploaded at MyCII shortly. Thank you very much.